Hey, hey, what's going on everyone? RC84 here, like always, thanks for watching. Well, my friends, welcome to a very special video. What makes this video so special? Well, I'll be happy to tell you, my friends. This marks my 10 years of being in the hobby grade RC world and being here on YouTube. Back in May 11th, 2010, I joined up with the hobby grade RC world and YouTube, not knowing the first thing about either or the RC hobby and YouTube, believe it or not, all right? Crazy, I know, right? But back in 2010, I got into the hobby grade RC world. What started off was a thing for me to waste some time because at that given time, I was doing custom car shows. I had a fully modified car, something you see like on Fast and Furious, you know, the body kit, rims, exhaust, interior, motor work, and I would go to these custom car shows. Now the shows I went to were not just one day shows, they were full on weekend shows, three days and stuff like that. And when you're at these shows, you know, you set up your car, you display it out, clean it up and all that, and wait for the judge to come by, when the judges judge your car, you know, you pretty much had the next day or two to do whatever. And I was at a show in Greenville, North Carolina, I saw this guy had a Traxxas Slash. Now, like I said, I did not know anything about this hobby until I saw this guy with one. And I was like, you know what, that'd be a great way to waste some time while I'm here at the show uh, because you know you can only talk to so many people, you can look at the same vehicles over and over again. So I was like, I need something that is going to, uh, you know, something to waste a little time with. And so I started getting into the hobby. But, you know, and uh, I didn't know any much about this. Uh, the hobby grade RC world. Like I said, you know, I knew all about the toy grade ones I had as a small kid and everything, but never like this. So I went online and I typed in, you know, 4x4 off road trucks because I figured not all the places that I go are going to be on pavement. Some of these show fields are going to be on grass and stuff. And so when I typed in, I saw the rock crawlers and I started looking at those and I was like, wow, these things look so cool. Some of them look so real. And then I started watching videos on YouTube, which I believe it was my first time actually watching YouTube videos, all right? I know, believe it or not, all right? But I started watching these videos and I really liked it. Like, I loved how these videos and the trucks, like the trucks looked so real, the videos were so done up well. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. And I wanna try something like this. Now, at that time, I did not have any type of film knowledge whatsoever on how to make a video. And so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna try this. So I broke out my camera, started filming, and I started messing around with some video editing software I had on my computer. So I started making my own video, and then I created my channel, and then the channel started taking off. I started getting subscribers and comments, and it was crazy. But it's been a fun hobby, my friends. I'm really, really glad that I got into this hobby. It's something that I enjoy a lot. Like I said, it, it's, it started off as something to waste some time, and as I got into the hobby more, I started loving it and enjoying it. And now it's a passion of mine that I really love doing. As you guys can see, I have a whole room dedicated to my RC vehicles and parts and stuff like that. And it, it's just a great hobby. I love it so much. Uh, the things I love about this hobby is that, one, it's an active hobby. It actually gets you outside for a few hours. You're not sitting in front of the TV or the game console or the computer. You're actually outside doing something. And I really like that. I'm a very active person. I like being outside more than being inside. And of course, some days I do like being inside and playing couch potato. But, yeah. But another thing I love about this hobby is the vehicles you get to drive. There's some vehicles that I would never get to own in real life or even drive in real life. Like how often do you get to drive a War II tank around and shoot things and, and stuff? Not that often unless you're a private collector RC or, or tanks, a private collector of tanks, or you're a working in the war museum, or you're in the military, then you get to drive these tanks. But average Joes like me don't really get to drive stuff like that. So I really like the fact that I get to drive vehicles and own vehicles that I would never get to own in my life. Probably if I didn't spend all this money on these RCs, I probably could afford those vehicles, but eh, what's the fun of that? <laughs> I love the RCs and I love the hobby. And it's just so much fun, my friends. Another thing I like about this hobby is that anybody can be a part of this hobby. It doesn't matter your age, your sex, your religion, or whatever, anybody can be a part of it. I've seen people who are 80 years old that are in this hobby. I've seen kids who are in this hobby. I've seen adults my age 
who are into this hobby and it's so much fun to see all this and interact with people who share the same passion and, and like the same stuff that you like and it's always fun. You know, through the 10 years of being in this hobby, I've met a lot of great people through this hobby. I have met people that I have become really, really good friends with, like you guys hear my, you know, say my buddy Paul a lot here on the channel. Paul is my best friend. He is my RC guy, and he is, he's one of, a really good friend. He's been there for me through thick and thin, you know, RC related or not RC related. He's always been there for me, so I'm very thankful for that. And all my other RC friends that I know as well, everybody is just so cool and down to earth and and love to have fun and joke around and stuff and i really like that part so it's just been a really fun hobby and plus also the adventures i've had with my vehicles i've gone places that i've never really gone to uh, local or long distance so it's been just a lot of fun <laughs> and i i really enjoy this hobby and i i definitely enjoy making these videos uh, for the channel. You know, I don't do this channel for the fame or the glory or making money and all that stuff. I do it for the pure love of the hobby. All right? I don't care about all that stuff, the fame, the glory, the money and all that stuff. I like doing it because I like doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, I enjoy making the videos. It's so much fun doing it and, and, and get to film and edit and all that stuff. I just I really love it. It's just so much fun to me, and I enjoy doing it so much, my friends. It's been amazing. I've had so many types of vehicles throughout the 10 years, from crawlers, drifters, boats, planes, helicopters, construction vehicles, tanks, you name it, I probably have done it already. And uh, it's just so much fun, and I really enjoy it. And I'm gonna keep doing this hobby as long as I possibly can, who knows? when that will be but hopefully I will be in it for a long long time and so yeah also I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching my channel uh, been commenting and subscribing I really do appreciate that I really appreciate all the people who subscribe for you know to my channel if you're a long time subscriber to the channel thank you for sticking around with me for so long I know I've made so much mistakes in the last 10 years but I'm still learning as I go, my friends, and I think that's what we're all doing. We're all learning new things every day, and so I'm learning as much as I possibly can and trying to fix some of the things I did in the past, so I appreciate y'all for staying around. If you're a newbie subscriber, you maybe just subscribed six months ago, or you're subscribed now to the channel, thank you for subscribing as well, and also thank you to all the viewers out there who's watching my videos. You don't have to subscribe or anything, but you're watching the videos, and I do appreciate that. You know, I always say that when you subscribe to a channel, you're not just a subscriber, you're a supporter. You're supporting that person and what they do, and I appreciate you supporting me and what I do, and I really do appreciate it, my friends. So, thank y'all again from the bottom of my heart for y'all sticking around and watching my videos and commenting and subscribing. I do appreciate it, my friends very very much and sticking with me and dealing with me and <laughs> everything because I know I'm not the best at doing the videos and especially in front of the camera I hate getting in front of the camera but sometimes I just do even with my couple of disabilities I have but I still do it anyway uh, because it's just something I like doing it's a challenge for me as well so yeah but my friends, thank you again for sticking around with me for 10 years. It's been awesome. It's been real. And I hope that I get to do this hobby for another 10 years or so. Uh, but yeah. All right, my friends. So thank you for watching. And I do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all later.